So you have an esophageal cancer, yes. and um, it's kind of sitting in the lower part of your esophagus, right, right near your stomach. Yes. Um, so what we like to do, what we found works the best, and I know Dr. Freak talked to you about this, no. is to um, give chemo and radiation because they will help to shrink the tumor down right. as much as possible. Sure. And then um, you can, once it's shrunk down enough, the idea is that you go to surgery right. and they take out anything else that's left behind. Sure. sure. With um, chemo and radiation, even if um, we don't see a big change in the tumor volume after those treatments are done, right. you still go to surgery most likely, as long as you're still right. fit to go to surgery. Okay, all right. So radiation treatment, we're using high energy x-rays to have some sort of effect to kill a tumor. Okay. Radiation is the same thing as um, x-ray treatment, just like having a chest x-ray done mm -hmm. or a CT scan, it's the same treatment. Okay. But the energy is higher, right. and we only focus it on the area that we want to treat. You're so, able to do that? Yeah. Oh, cool. So we only focus the radiation to where your tumor is. We're not treating yeah, your right. whole chest. I was wondering how they um, kept from just radiating or killing yeah. everything. Decades ago, um, radiation wasn't able to be that specific, so we would be treating a very large area, but now we're able to target exactly the area. We're able to right. narrow the beams, and we kind of have a a lead almost blocking so we right. block off the areas we don't want to treat and we treat only the esophagus nice now we do treat a margin so meaning we treat a little bit of normal tissue that's around right. yeah. because there's a higher risk for tumor spreading to those areas even when we um, can't see it right. so okay it ends up looking like this <clears throat> by the way this is dr brown So if I'm looking right at you, and this is your esophagus here, mm -hmm. your tumor is sitting right here where your esophagus and your stomach meet. Right. So we treat um, um, an area around the tumor okay. that ends up being like this. Okay. So that means some of the normal esophagus will get some radiation dose and some of your stomach will get some radiation okay. dose. Right. We, um, now I'll kind of talk about what that means as far as side effects. Okay. Radiation treatment, we give you a pretty good dose to try to help to kill this tumor. Right. And we can't give it to you all at once. Sure, yeah. So it's broken up into daily treatments Monday through Friday. Okay. And your treatments would probably last somewhere around, um, let's see, I want to say five to six-ish weeks. Okay. Um, and that's daily treatments, no weekends, no holidays. Right. Um, as far as side effects, so again, we're treating your esophagus, we're treating a little bit of your stomach as well. Right. Food going down here. Have you been having any trouble with oh, swallowing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To liquids or solids? All of it. To everything. Yeah. How long has that been going on? Uh, a few months. A couple months, okay. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself choking? Um, well, uh, uh, not necessarily choking, but I can tell it just isn't going down. Gonna you go feel down. like it's like a, okay. like you got a peanut stuff. butter sandwich stuck in your throat. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you're finishing meals early because you're getting full? Yeah. I mean, I no, I'm not eating now. I'm I'm off. Of, I'm, I can't eat solid foods anymore. So just liquids now. I'm on, I'm on pretty much liquids. Since you left the hospital, is that the diet that they recommended? Uh, no. Uh, it's it's just I can tell you know it's getting worse. What, okay, what, you so know, you so, put yourself on a... Well, a but, you know, we've we talked, you know, I, this just came up in the last couple of weeks, actually. So, haven't really had a lot of time to talk. I've met with Dr. Parikh once early on, a few couple of weeks ago. I met with the uh, uh, the surgeon, uh, Dr. Uh, Deb. Yeah, Dr. Deb, and went over a bunch of stuff. But uh, they did give me some paperwork for clear liquid and uh, okay. so, some other liquid diet deal you know that because they he was explaining you know this was going to happen and it's happening like you said you know and just becoming more i can still make the food go into my stomach but it feels no matter what it is it feels like i've eaten a two pounds of really sharp gravel and you know our glass or something and then food remains above the tumor after i get done eating and it's you know difficult to get it you know so yeah. Yeah. Okay. have you seen anyone in the nutrition department yet not yet no that? Well, we might refer you to see someone in nutrition. Okay. They'll give you diet recommendations. Mm -hmm. And then um, as I talk about side effects, so hopefully as the tumor shrinks, yeah. the food will pass down easier right. um, with the radiation. But then we'll irritate this so it might be painful to right. swallow. Yeah. We'll give you a lot of good gargles and rinses um, mm -hmm. to help control that pain and, and, and soothe your esophagus. Okay. But also having a diet that's softer yeah. will help you. So yeah, nutrition sure. will help you with that too. Yeah. 
when we treat a little bit of the stomach, that can cause a little bit of nausea as well. Yeah. So um, I would say sore throat and then nausea are going to be some of your biggest side effects. Right, okay. The side effects don't happen right away. Side effects will develop after a couple weeks of treatment. Okay. So when you have radiation treatment, just like an x-ray, you don't see, feel, or touch it. It's, right. It's just an x-ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, we'll kind of be talking about those things as treatment goes along. You'll see me at least once a week while you're under treatment. Okay. But, of course, if you're having issues, we'll see each other more often. Okay. But at least once a week we meet to go over any side effects. I refill any medications you need. Okay. Things like that. All right. Um, besides local side effects, yeah. the only other kind of general side effects of radiation, most people do get tired. Right. And that will also more be, tired than I already am. <laughs> that'll that'll also be a little bit from the the chemotherapy, but right. we do make you tired. Yeah. Um, most of the side effects will resolve within a few weeks after treatment. So these are resolve my hair. You won't lose your hair from radiation. So Just radiation, chemo, chemo yeah. you might the um the the type of chemotherapy drugs that are used for esophageal cancer yeah. don't usually cause you to lose your hair. So you might not. Yeah, I read up on that. Did Dr. Perry tell you that you would lose your hair? No, I just saw in some of the paperwork it said hair loss is a possibility. For some chemos, there's as many chemotherapies yeah. as there are yeah. people, you know. Right, so, yeah. um, not literally, but there's right. a lot of yeah, chemotherapy. Yeah, right. So, some make you lose your hair, some don't. The right. ones that we use for esophageal cancer typically don't. Right. And the radiation, again, is only going here, so we're not going to be right. treating any part of your head. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, any questions about any of this so far? Do you have any idea yet about like how many rounds of this that you're expecting to have to do? Or So this would be kind of one round of right. radiation that yeah. we do before surgery. Okay. And that's usually it. If they uh -huh. find something in surgery um, that is left behind that they couldn't get, sometimes yeah. we need to do a little extra radiation afterwards. Right. But typically it's just these, you know, let's say six weeks of radiation. Right with chemo, um, and then you're done with the radiation. Okay. Sometimes you will need chemotherapy after surgery as well. Right. But um, typically with radiation, it's only one round right. that you have. Because I, I remember when I, my first consultation with Dr. Parikh, mm -hmm. he talked about, you know, we'll do six weeks of chemo and radiation, mm -hmm. followed by a month of rest, do a PET scan, uh, endoscope, and then another round and continue that process until the tumor of, shrunk. Of chemo, possibly. Oh, but, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. He was talking about chemo. Chemo, sometimes you will need right. more afterwards. Okay. And he can answer that better than I can. But okay. for the radiation, yeah. it's typically just one. Okay, okay. And so this, this area is just for the radiation? It's The chemo is a separate group of people? Or? Exactly. Dr. Oh, okay. Parikh's team, they handle the chemo. Okay. Chemo is in, given, um, so most likely your chemo will be... Uh, Partially IV. Right. Um, sometimes you have a pill yeah. um, as well that he talked to you about. They haven't talked to me about it um, They yet. come in different forms, but yeah. um, I, one part of it is definitely infusion, okay. and that would be given on the, I believe, the third floor okay. of this. It's the same yeah, building, right. but just not the same yeah, floor. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so uh, uh, eating should get better after a while? Should feel like things can get down a little yeah. bit easier. Right. Um, Okay. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes tumors don't shrink that yeah, much. Sure. Even if the tumor is dying, sometimes the tumor doesn't shrink. Right. That sure. Much. I understand that. Yeah. Okay. So. What other questions? You did good. That's about it. I don't. I mean, I. You know, I don't know enough about any of this. And it's. It's oh, been yeah. so fast. Of I don't. Course. I don't. I don't even know what to ask. Of course. So of I'll course. Just, questions just, will come up yeah. as you go along. And I'll just play it one day at a time. That's yeah. kind of all I do. You have our cards in there, yeah. so if you do think of questions later or family members think of questions, they can always call us. Okay. Ask. Well, thank you, Dr. Yeah. Brown, for all the information. I yeah. appreciate it. Um, I'm going to tell you a couple other things. Okay. So before we can start the radiation, we do a planning session. We get a CT scan that's just done here right. on our machines. We okay. make a mold of your body. Right. Um, it's like a bean bag that yeah. you lie in each day for treatment. Okay. And um, once I have that planning scan, I can actually plan out and draw out where the radiation is going to be delivered. Okay. And uh, that takes us a couple of days to do. Once we know when your exact chemo start date is, right. your radiation will start later on that day. Okay. And then you'll continue with the radiation. Okay. Did Dr. Preet give you an idea of when he wants to start? Well, I meet him uh, today at 2.30 okay. to go over all that, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, so and we always communicate with them. Right. So once we know that, we'll call you in and, and tell you when your treatment starts. So we'll call you and let you know. Okay. Sounds good, man. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah.
So um, I'll examine you now if that's okay. okay. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Let me hit this.